the collective human neuroses that afflicts the modern age is a product of the social games we play that keep us from living within our authentic self. This prescription of normalcy, this set of rituals and behaviors that numb us into a state of submission, force most men to lead lives of quiet desperation. We all have a fire in the belly, yet way too few of us are allowed to let it out. And this collective hypnosis, this reality tunnel, this consensus trance is driving us mad. There is an epidemic in this country, a mental health epidemic, whereby over 50 million people or something like that are on antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications. How is it possible that we live in the best of all possible times? We live in safer conditions than any other time in human history, yet the modern the modern man is afflicted with a quasi-permanent state of anxiety. It is the inevitable byproduct of our neocortex, our capacity to triumph over the world, to triumph over obstacles, to design and plan for future events has allowed us to build the modern world. We are gifted with this piece of neocortical hardware. It makes us brilliant beings, but that neocortical hardware is betraying us, right? It's like once we've planned our future and secured our fate, then it starts to look for things to worry about. It gives us very little peace of mind. And there is only one solution to our collective neurosis. And it's something that's been identified as a creative creative flow state, die into the moment, surrender, submit, right? It's, it's what the jazz musicians talk about when they're in the zone and let it all go. It's the elite athlete who risks death in a moment of ultimate transformation when he achieves the godlike space of the impossible and he makes the impossible possible. It's the inventor when he loses himself in the laboratory only to reemerge with a solution to the answer to the problem. The point being, when we get out of our heads, when we get out of our own way, when we silence our inner critic, when we shut down that piece of neocortical hardware that is eating us up from inside, we tap into something pure, something fearless, something bold, sublime, alive, elegant. And, and, and when we do get out of our heads, when we do tap into this flow state, I feel like that's when we surprise ourselves. We come out of the experience impregnated with revelation, with truth, with inspiration. You know, human beings call it transcendence. They call it waking up. They call it enlightenment. They call it illumination. And the secret lies therein, right? It lies in, in, in spite of ourselves, going beyond ourselves to sit beside ourselves and be willing to surprise ourselves. That's where our genius lies. So yeah, man flow states.